Hey, welcome back to my channel, PTL Empowerment. And this is Lisa Martin. God bless you. I want you to subscribe to this video. I want you to comment and I want you to like. So give us that big thumbs up. So this morning, today, the 1st of May, I've come to tell those of you who are tuned in to that your emergence will not be denied. You hear me? Your emergence in this season, in this hour of your life, it will not be denied. It will not be covered. You will not be put down any longer. You will not be pushed aside any longer. You will not be just, you know, oh, that's her over there. It will be seen. God will bless it. There will be increase. There will be multiplication. You will succeed. People will recognize and will not be able to deny what God is doing in your life because your gift is making room for you. What are you doing with that gift that God has given you? Are you just burying it? Or are you using it for his honor and his glory? My brothers, my sisters, my beloved, I'm telling you, I'm so excited about this message to this morning because God specifically told me to tell you there's somebody out there and God is about to show up on your behalf. God is about to do it for you. God is about to bring it to pass for you. And it will not be denied. Your emergence will not be denied. I want you to put that in the comment. My emergence will not be denied. Because you're going to come locked and loaded with the anointing. And even, there, even though there are others out there that are doing it, yours will be anointed. Yours will capture the audience. Yours will be seen. Yours will be celebrated. So don't become weary in well-doing. Psalms verse 37, Psalms 37 verse 4 says, Delight yourself in the Lord, and he will give you the desires of your heart. What are you desiring today? What are you desiring in this new month that we're in? What are you desiring in your marriage? What are you desiring in your finances? Come on, give it a name. Claim it. Claim it. Speak it. Begin to walk into it. Begin to take the territory that God has already given to you. He said, wherever your feet shall, you know, come upon that God will give you the authority. He will give you the authority. So what is it that God is about to cause you to emerge into? I want you to see it in your sleep. I want you to feel it in your subconscious mind. I want you to believe it in your heart. Because it is when we confess, when we believe, and when we decide it is so, that we will see the manifestations of those that we are hoping for. The evidence of it will be seen. Beloved, you may, be, you may have been put down for, for a long time. You may have been overlooked for a long time. You may be have, uh, pushed aside for a long time. You may be, have been ridiculed for a long time. You may have received no as the answer for a long time. But I'm saying to you that God says it's your time. It's your season and your emergence will not be de denied. The no will turn into a yes. The put down will turn into an upliftment. 
God is turning it around for you. This is your turnaround season. So wherever you are this, with listening to this video, I want you to just turn your body around 360 degrees because that's how God is going to show up in your life. Because when God shows up and when God says it is time, it is time, hallelujah, that it's not only your turn, but it is your time, then situations have to align themselves to make space for you your time is about to come your days of discouragement your days of frustration your days of anxiety your days of lack are about to expire get excited about what god is doing and is about to do get excited you don't have to see it but just believe it just feel it. Just do the praise dance because it is coming. It is coming. For a long time, I went through times and, and seasons of frustration. Times of, and seasons of not knowing what direction I needed to go in. Times and seasons of feeling that I cannot do it and I can't accomplish that which I, in my heart, I wanted to go after, but I didn't know how to do it. But there came a time where God says, now, and I was willing to move with the leading and the guidance of God's spirit. If you are willing to be obedient, regardless of how fearful you feel, regardless of how gloomy the situation look, I am a testament that God will do it for you. God will make a way. He will open doors. You will get the yeses. Listen, I was so accustomed to getting no's that when I approach people, I, I was like, oh my gosh, if it's a no what? But now I'm getting yeses. Now I'm getting yeses because my season has changed. Hallelujah. And God has showed up. And those times, those seasons of no's, those seasons of disappointments, those seasons of letdown were just preparing me for this season that God is ushering me into. Hallelujah. My shirt says, God favors this chick. I want to say to you today, God favors you. God favors you. You are special to God. You are important to God. You are needed. Don't feel, don't allow despair to keep you down. What is it that you need to come forth into that the enemy is bringing all kinds of negativeness to you? That the enemy is saying to you that nobody wants to hear you. No one wants is going to believe you. No one is interested. That's what he did to me. That's what he said to me as well. But I had to come to this place in my life where the voices of people did no longer mattered. Only God's voice and only what he was saying for me to do. And when I got to that place, I'm telling you, there was no stopping me. I mean, I, I, I'm, I'm just going as the spirit leads. And I know there's so much more territory that he wants me, you know, to go after. And I'm just, I'm just doing it unto the honor and glory of God. Not to get any name, but just that God name will be glorified. And I want to say to you that your day is coming don't become weary in well-doing. Don't give up. Don't faint. It is about to happen for you. And your emergence will not be denied. It will have to be said that indeed this is a man. This is a woman of God. That God's hands are upon them. That God is prospering them. You remember with the Israelites. Hallelujah. When the, the Egyptians 
were going after them and trying to, to just kill all the children. And the more babies they killed, the more God was blessing the womb, the wombs of the Israelites. And I want to say to you that the more that they're putting you down is the more God is blessing you, is the more God is bringing people in your circle that would be there to help you, is the more God is building confidence in you, is the more God is equipping you and preparing you, is the more God is setting up the right resources to come your way. So fear not, my brothers. Fear not, my sisters. The time is right. The hour is now. Hallelujah. Stand strong in the calling. Use that which God has given to you. What is it you have in your hand? He's asking you, what is it you have? Look at what you have and use what you have because he will bless what you have. He will multiply what you have. He will increase what you have. He will explode what you have. He will allow what you have to emerge. Hallelujah. With such glory, with such magnitude, with such anointing that it will not be denied. So be encouraged. Take courage. Don't let go. Don't let go. Don't give up. Uh, hallelujah. Take that baton uh, because there's someone else uh, that you need to pass that baton to. There's someone uh, that are looking to you. Uh, and when you succeed, uh, they feel confident that they can succeed too. Uh, when you succeed, uh, they feel encouraged uh, that if she can make it, if he can make it, uh, then I can make it too. Uh, so don't give up. Up. Those who are coming behind you, they're depending on you to keep going. They're depending on you to persevere. They're depending on you to press through. Be encouraged, my beloved. Your time to shine is upon you and it shall not be denied. God bless you and have an amazing day.